Right, now we've been talking about interests and hobbies. And I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions mm -hmm. related to this. So let's consider, first of all, current and future hobbies. What do you think are the most popular types of hobby in your country? Uh, sports. Sports and, mm. uh, for example, uh, football. Football, I think, is the most popular one. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that is? I think, okay, first, fo football is popular in most places in the world, and uh, I think uh, it's an easy game to play when you're, mm -hmm. since you're a kid. And also the media helps, television and the radio. In what ways? They always show football, show football mm -hmm. on television, and they, they always, uh, any match, they always show it on television. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that helps. And the news as well as football. Do you think the popularity of football is likely to continue into the future? Yes, yes, it will, because, uh, because uh, kids like football. And most of the kids in my country like football. And uh, they play it. And it's likely that they will play it when they're older. We will watch it. So you don't and think it might be replaced by something like basketball or rugby? I think I think other sports will come more popular, but football is still going to be very popular. Sorry. Don't sorry. Don't know if if it's going to replace like being the most popular sport, but uh, but other sports are becoming more popular. But football is still the the most popular. So one. there's something special about football. Uh, I think it's the the, um, the a good match is is very nice to watch. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it's not that difficult to play for boys, and our girls are playing it as well. So that's another another thing. Yeah. Well, let's move on to the the social benefits of hobbies. Um, do you think there are social benefits of having a hobby? Yes, I think that it keeps uh, people busy doing something um, healthy or. or Productive. Why would that be a benefit? I know for the society and uh, instead of doing maybe something that will hurt the society or mm -hmm. something like that, especially for boys that they can just use their free time doing something productive. On the other hand, do you think there are any dangers of spending too much time on a hobby? Ah, if you don't go to school and play football all the time, for example, or don't go to work, someone just sit in front of a television watching a, a match. Maybe, yeah, everything in excess is not good. <clears throat> right, let's move on to, to leisure time. Um, a lot of people today talk about the balance between leisure and work. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what is the balance between leisure and work like in, in your country? People, I think people work too much. Mm -hmm. Okay, more than, than the leisure. Leisure, the, what why, they why do, do you think that? Why do you think people work too much? I think because uh, I think salaries are not that high and people need to work a lot to, to provide themselves, I think. And also, uh, I think, on the other hand, professional people they just want to go higher, higher in the job ladder. So do they you think this will much. change in the future or will it always be like this? I think it's changing now. People uh, realize that um, you can be productive without staying all day mm -hmm. doing, doing mm -hmm. things all the time. All right, thank you very much. That's mm -hmm. the end of the speaking test. Okay. Thank you.